Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Pokemon Alpha Sapphire No Catch. In the last part, we went up Mount Pyre and got the Red Orb. Uh, and now we're finally taking a detour to go visit our mom. She gave us the Amulet Coin, a very useful item, however, not so much for us. Uh, if it was leftovers or something like that, but yeah, that's, that's the entire reason they keep saying, go visit your mom. It's a bit silly. We're off to Slateport to um, finally go see the um, what Team Aqua is doing in Slateport. Because we know that after Mount Pyre they headed here, but that's all we know. I think they're going after a submarine that was discussed way back at the beginning when you had the Devon parts. Oh, did my Pokemon get healed actually? Because normally they would. Yeah, no, I did not heal them. I was going to say I'm like I just healed. But no, uh, when she gave us the amulet coin, we did not get healed. I wish we had some leftovers. Admittedly, that'd be the perfect item for Wobbuffet. Uh, with such a big health pool, it'd be perfect for him to have leftovers and be healing up uh, like 30 a turn or something like that. I think he did, he's about 20 at this point. But uh, that's why we intend to move ahead with our expedition. Thank you for taking time for your busy schedule to talk to us. Hope we can interview you again with more discoveries. Whew. First time being filmed for TV. What a nerve-wracking experience. Uh, at this point, you could have already been filmed a few times by TV Gabby and them uh, by fighting them. We had a huge discovery on our latest expedition to the seafloor. An underwater cavern on Route 128. We think it may be the den of a super ancient Pokemon long thought to have been extinct. However, uh, uh, testing, testing. One, two, three, okay. Hope you're listening out there, Captain Stern. We of Team Aqua will now be assuming control of your lovely submarine. You'll contribute to our great plan of returning everything to the beginning. I hope you appreciate this great honor. <laughs> yes, uh, Team Aqua is currently stealing the submarine. Like someone using a megaphone. Where is it coming from? Inside the building. The, our submarine, they took it. Come with me. And so we can follow them. Or I could have been a jerk and just flown away now and went to visit parents. Because I did want to do that to get the amulet coin. Those thugs. The same lot who tried to take the deck cards at the museum. Indeed. We're up against, well, Archie and his admin. But past the time when you could... You, you and your best efforts can turn the tide. We'll add a few less attention to the submarine, and we'll be all set to bust open the seafloor and cavern where the great Pokemon is sleeping, the one we just heard about on Route 128. Our plans to return everything to the beginning. They're as good as complete. But I know you gotta do what you gotta do, Scamp. I'm not telling you to quit chasing us. Follow us all the way to our hideout in Lily Cove. That area we didn't quite walk to, we went to Mount Pyre instead. If that's at your honor demands. Now then, shall we? Got it. You guys, keep that spoiled brat busy until the submarine takes off. Oddly, they only sent two Aqua Grunts against us, though, admittedly, they've escaped at this point. There's nothing we could do to stop them with the whole, they're in a submarine already. We do not have any way of going underwater. I can fight like the Sidon, even on land. Alright, alright. Let's see how this goes. I believe we still have Anareth leading our team. We are up against Mighty Anna, which means this should be a fight Anareth can win. As long as we don't get um, too many swaggers against us. Even with the 6 level difference, uh, that's the downside because we are raising all 6 of our Pokemon. If I dropped like 3 of them, uh, I could probably handle this sort of game without really much worries because they're gonna just going to get that much more experience, but because we spent so much time trying to bring Anareth back up to the right level, uh, either we would have to do some grinding, or um, just get really, really lucky. Um, looks like we're not going to be fast enough to take out this Mighty Anna, and I want the experience on Anna. So, um, Cast Form, come on out. I'm liking training up Cast Form too, because he really is a lot better than I gave him credit for the first time. The first time I saw him, he was like, he probably was as strong as he is now, but it just, I never used weather. Ever. 
so fighting this Pokemon, it's like, I don't want to waste a turn to the set of weather effects. What are you talking about? Even though, in this case, um, weather effects are I put on um, Rain Dance. It's going to change my type to water, which means I'm going to get staff. Uh, it's going to power up Weather Ball, I think just default it powers up Weather Ball. Makes it a water type, so now it gets powered up by the rain. Gets powered up by stab, and gets powered up by um, Mystic Water. So we're up against the 26th strongest um, Aqua Grunt right now. So it is a huge difference by taking that turn to set up rain. Uh, or, in this case, like, setting up sun is not going to help us too much. Uh, even if I'd love it to, setting up sun will... It weakens water a bit. However, Carvana is using ice, using crunch, using poison bag. All sorts of moves that just aren't water-based. So it doesn't really help if we did set up a uh, sunny day. And that's going to be usually the case with Team Aqua. I guess it's to balance out the fact that uh, if you picked uh, Trico, you now have basically a free pass for all of Team Aqua. Looks like it's a Golbat. Uh, we're going to keep battling. Let's just leave Pikachu in. I think an Icicle Crash will be plenty to take down this. No, you know what? Discharge. Uh, he is a flying type still, so uh, I was thinking Icicle Crash because it's super effective. But so is, well, um, Discharge. Good job, Pikachu. Gained me another level. Slam would be nice. Unfortunately, we have um, Strength and Rock Smash really limiting our moves, uh, giving us basically the cosplay Pikachu's signature move and one other move as our actual move set for that Pokemon. Mission complete. I'm going to go check out the modified sub in our hideout. I'm psyched to see all the modding on the sub. And now we have the fun, fun trip all the way back to Lily Cove to go, well, see what's happening with the Submarine Explorer 1. I'm sorry, but my stolen submarine could bring an unimaginable disaster on the world. Someone has to get to their hideout in Lily Cove and stop them. But no chance alone? I can at least get you as far as Lily Cove. And it's true. Uh, he is going to be bringing us to Lily Cove. We're going to be skipping this last little bit of... Um, area on that route. I think it was 121, 123 or something. Uh, so we did get that advantage. We are now in Lily Cove. Uh, we've arrived in Lily Cove. Thieves who stole my submarine must be hiding out somewhere in the city. Find my sub for me. We'll be heading back to the shipyard. Start dealing with the aftermath of all this. So we are already in Lily Cove. I think it's perfect time for us to get ready and storm Team Aqua's uh, area. Thanks to us having, um, what is it, fly, we can go back and get more milks from uh, Lily Cove at any time. This is a contest hall, isn't it? Is the breeder lady going to be here? Because if so, I might want to change up our Pikachu. She is. Alright. Uh, yes, Pikachu does want to change costumes. So we have a cool, beautiful, cute, clever, and tough. I think we're on beautiful right now, so I'm thinking clever. We are now Scientist Pikachu, which I don't remember which move. Electric Terrain, ooh, it's a boost electric move. What does Electric Terrain do? I was planning on um, updating Pikachu somehow, and I'm thinking this one might be good. Pokemon can no longer fall asleep. That's, that's not good. That's actually quite terrible. Uh, we're going to do one more swap. Uh, I mean, Ice was really helpful uh, for us at the early game because it, it dealt with grass. But, I mean, now we have enough ways to deal with grass. Um, I guess Clever? Oh. Ne never mind. Cool is going to be the rock star from before. Give us Meteor Mash. I'll stick with Meteor Mash. If I remember correctly, that should be... Um, I was going to say a physical move, but even now I'm not sure. We just put Pikachu back in his original uh, form. Yeah. Discharge is special. So now we can hit with both our physical attack stat and our special. 
Uh, so that's going to be very helpful. It also may raise our attack stats, so it's going to be a very beneficial um, start and gives us some steel. Steel is not the best attacking type, but I think I think it's worth it. It's not going to be much help in Team Aqua, but neither was Icicle Crash really. The only thing we used it for was flying types. Uh, there's not enough grass type in Team Aqua to worry about it. So Pikachu has gotten their new look. and. I don't know if we're actually going to make it to being able to storm the, the hideout this part. Um, the two fights didn't take too long, but after that last part where we did spend about half an hour uh, going through it, we're probably, we're probably due for a, a shorter part. Let's head up and we'll get to there. The reason why I'm worried about it is because of this fight right here. Um, would have been perfect to actually keep Icicle Crash, but I think we can survive without it for right now. We're right in front of the famous Lily Cove department store. And I do want to go through there and see if there's any good TMs I could potentially give Pikachu. But that's not all I've been doing. Cut tons of different Pokemon, raising them well. Oh, okay, if you say so. I totally think I'm lying. The bigger question here is if you're raising Pokemon right, not me. So that settles it. Let's have a battle. Yeah, this battle's probably going to take us a while because, honestly, our team does not stack up. Our team is a bit underleveled for this situation. Uh, we're up against Swellow to start things off. Our Rock Bug type might handle this well. Um, we don't. We no longer have Cast Form's Ice, so we don't have that backup anymore. Um, I think Smackdown might do some decent damage. Wow, Aerial Ace did some decent damage too. Um, unfortunately, I don't think Anorith can survive another hit, so let's swap him out for. Passform could set up a water, and I think I'm going to want to. I'm going to want to set up Rainy Day. Uh, sorry, Rain Dance. Uh, and blast through this way. Passform has actually a pretty decent defense, it's feeling like. So, first things first, we'll take the Aerial Ace and get our Rain Dance out. It started to rain. We are now in water form. It's not going to change how much damage we're taking from this Swellow, uh, but it is going to put us in a better situation. Ooh, a crit on the Aerial Ace really puts our cast form in a pinch. Uh, I'm hoping that this doesn't cause him to summon the grass type, his uh, Grovile. I don't even know if it's Sceptile for this fight. Oh, it is. Uh, yes, we will switch our Pokemon. Wobbuffet, you're going to be in charge of dealing with this um, Sceptile. Sceptile is probably going to be hitting us with a lot of physical moves, so I think one counter might be enough to take him down with a 10 level difference. Actually, that put him really close to the level. Alright, defend yourself against the Pokemon that can't attack you. Dual Chomp, a dragon move. So, this is where it would be really bad uh, if we had... Latios or something like that out. Uh, and honestly, Dual Chop's a pretty strong move for to use against us. I mean, this sort of fight would be perfect for... Um, uh, what's it called? Uh, I'm blanking. Icicle Crash again. Icicle Crash, like it took out the Sceptile the first time, would probably take him out pretty quick here. Another detect. I almost healed on it, but I'm like, no. Watch the time I heal. It's going to be the time he's dual chopping a second time in a row. So I'll take another hit. It's not enough to kill Wobbuffet, uh, even with a 10 level difference. And honestly, Wobbuffet's going to be a great um, card for us to play um, when it does come time for the Elite Four. Because even with, you can see a 10 level difference, he has the bulky nature. Like, look at that. 168 health, 50 defense, 46 special. And he's only level 30. Uh, Whale Lord, we're going to want to switch, and it looks like it's time for Pikachu to steal some spotlight. Uh, the only downside is Wobbuffet does tend to make the battles run a bit long. Uh, if I had leftovers, and I might actually look up where I get leftovers in between episodes just so that I can pick up a leftovers for our Elite Four uh, attempt. But Pikachu with their uh, Thundershock, one quick hit, and Whale Lord goes down. 
Um, Macargo. Honestly, a water type move would be optimal here. So I'm gonna actually bring out Cast Form. Even with his low health, I think he might be able to get a Hydro Pump off faster than this Mud. I'm sorry, this Macargo, this Fire Rock type, I believe. He might be Fire Ground. I'm not certain. Hydro Pump. I was gonna say, and I hope it hits. It should be an instinct kill on Macargo. Honestly, maybe I should be putting um, Cast Form towards the water setup. Because uh, we do have Swampert on our team. And on that respect, I might grab a Heart Scale when we do and switch him over to Fire. Because we really don't have anything to deal with Grass, and Fire would be nice. You were able to become strong because you battled me back then. Hee <laughs> hee. Indeed, we actually got pretty strong. Uh, and our, our, Poke our Pokedex has not gotten very much in it at all. Let's see. Uh, three, one, two, one, one, one. So, honestly speaking, our, our Pokedex has nine in it, I believe. Nine that we've caught. Double checking. Yes, we have nine caught thanks to it. We will wind up with ten at the very end of this because Anorith will be evolving eventually. Honestly, it's too big of a level difference. Um, but once he evolves, he's going to be a much more powerful member of our team. Uh, there's a lot of trainers that we, we have skipped at this point that I would want to go back for. Um, we've got our department store here. I do want to check out the HMs TMs. We're just right off the bat. Uh, not checking the lottery. A Master Ball wouldn't be too helpful. Uh, trainer Zone, Battle Collection, TM Corner. All right, we're going to, we're going to Floor 4. It just feels backwards for that one. It really should have been the... We're on floor 4, aren't we? Fire Blast, Thunder, Blizzard, Focus Ball. Like, Thunder would be nice. Uh, Stone Edge, Hyper Beam, Giga Impact. Uh, I'm looking at picking up... Thunder would be a great upgrade for Pikachu's move. And Fire Blast, if I can teach it, it, will be a great upgrade to Cast Forms, and then the rest I'm going to have to spend on uh, consumable items. But that shouldn't be the end of the world. Uh, let's see. Fire Blast, use. There, Cast Form has now been converted from the Water Guy to the Fire Guy. It's a powerful move. It doesn't hit too frequently, but it's going to pack as much of a punch. Yeah. It's slightly more accurate, and that's it. Uh, we're going to want to get Mystic Water off of Cast Form now. Uh, I guess it can be given over to uh, Swampert. And Thunder can be actually taught to a few of our team. Uh, but it's, it's another one of those hits hard, but doesn't have the best accuracy. Um, to the point where like Discharge might be better than it. Uh, I'll get rid of Meteor Mash. Oddly enough, yeah, the, the main reason we have it as the Rockstar Pikachu. And in that respect, I guess I can change it to whatever form I want if I'm just ignoring its special anyways. Uh, you can see Thunder could be taught to a few other guys. Um, Cast Form's a unique choice because then you can Rain Dance and Thunder will be 100% accurate. But I think let's go take a look, see if we can find the entrance to their lair. It had to be up this way. Well, hello! Don't go near that cave in the cove. I don't need a reason. I'm an adult. You have to listen to me. Not right, but... Alright. We picked up a Lumberry. A very nice berry, because I believe it's a... It's basically the full heal of berries, if I remember correctly. It's a natural formation. Then Team Aqua came and made renovations. Team Aqua, lovers of nature. But what they say and what they do don't match at all. That's right, Team Aqua is a lover of nature, so they of course took over this cave. There's a lot of nice little goodies in this cave, uh, so I'm looking forward to going through it in a bit. And listen to this music, just from coming into the cave. Yeah, our team is full heal, our Swampert's even 41, that's higher than I was expecting. Bye. If you came here earlier, you'd see all this, and then there'd be Team Aqua Grunts guarding this set right here. 
So, in the next part, we are going to go after Team Aqua's base, kind of work our way quite through it, like completely through it, and see what at the end, what's at the end. See you guys then.